hello everyone welcome to this session that is welding and arc welding in this session i am going to discuss about the what is meant by welding and the classification of the welding and later there are different types of weldings are there the mainly two types are arc welding and the gas welding in this session i am going to discuss the arc welding and the gas welding i am going to discuss in the next session the definition of welding will take first the welding may be defined as metallurgical joining of two metal pieces together to produce a essentially single piece of metal here the two metal pieces if you want to join together that there the process what we are going to use that is the welding where the metallurgically two metal pieces are joining and also the we will have the another definition is also defined as the process of joining two pieces of metals by the application of heat and with or without application of pressure and filler material and welding pr produces a permanent joint here there are uh, permanent and temporary joints will be there in the permanent joint will permanently will join two pieces together that permanent joint includes that is welding brazing soldering okay. these are the permanent joint and uh, riveting these are the permanent joint methods of the joining two metal pieces and temporary joint we know that one bolted joints and screw joints those are the temporary joints those we can uh, easily remove that one okay those are called as a temporary joints and now discussion about the welding here in that where we are going to use the welding applications of the welding weldings are extensively used in the fabrication works where in which metal plates and rolled steel sheets casting of ferrous materials are joined together in most of the industries including the automobile aircraft and uh, railway all the industries where the two metal pieces are to be joined in the industry what happens actually the single uh, the product the component we cannot produce if it is complex we will use the different smaller components manufacturing and later those are to be joined by using the either by using permanent joint and the temporary joint and permanent joint is to be produced then we are going to use the welding here we can see that one which are the two metal pieces which are welded together okay this here the welding joint is provided okay that is the permanent joint which is provides and the this whatever the welding is there it is not only used for the producing or manufacturing of the new components it is also used for repairing the broken worn out and defective metal parts if any metal parts breaks at the middle then uh, you we cannot uh, easily discard those metal parts and there uh, those are to be joined for the further application and there the repairing work is carried out by using the welding most of we have seen that one most of the broken parts also we are going to join together to form a single component to function it properly and some of the parts are worn out okay those will uh, their part will be uh, removed due to that okay that is uh, uh, come out from that main part and due to that that actually will not be then as a initial part that is functioning it will not function properly and for that that is filled with a welding and it will continue with the same functioning and there the application welding we are going to use next we'll go for the classification of welding there are mainly two types of welding one is a pressure welding and the other one is a fusion welding in the fresher welding we are going to use that is fresher external fresher we are going to use that one and by using that the metal pieces are to be joined in the fresher welding what we are going to do that well the metal piece is heated up to the plastic state only metal piece is heated up to the plastic state only we know that the plastic state means okay it can elongate it can elongate it can be after uh, application of the pressure that can be stretched 
and that can join if you bend that one it will bend that that is the plastic state of the material okay that up to that plastic state only it will not melted to a molten metal only up to the plastic state it is heated and the, then the pressure is applied over there to form a joining joining of the two metals that is called as a pressure welding we are going to apply the pressure here for forming of the joint and here the examples for this uh, pressure welding those are the resistance welding resistance welding means here the electricity if you supply then due to the resistance offered by the metal for the electricity trans transmission that will be get heated here the purpose of offering the resistance to heat the metal for a welding purpose when it is get heated to a plastic state then the pressure is applied to weld together the two pieces then next is the forge welding the forging here we are going to hammer it the metal is heated and it is hammered manually or by using the machine and that after hammering the metal two pieces will be already which are in the state of uh, plastic those will be get joints then friction welding the friction welding here when the two metal pieces rub each other and in the friction welding what actually happens that when two rotating pieces are brought uh, contact with each other when we come brought contact with each other then there may be a friction at the contact surface as those are both are rotating and due to that one the friction generates the heat and due to that friction heat only the metal will be get transmit to the plastic state then thereby whenever that is cooled that will be get joined thermit welding with pressure okay here the aluminum oxide and ferrox is uh, used the two components okay the two chemicals we are going to use whenever those two are uh, comes contact with each other there is a endothermic reaction which will produce a heat and that heat whatever is there heats the metal pieces which are to be joined and here thermit welding only the up to plastic state if we heat that one and if we apply the pressure then that is called as a thermit welding with pressure and these are of the pressure welding types next one another one is a fusion welding in the fusion welding actually the metal is heated to its molten state then two pieces are in the molten state brought together each other and sometimes the filler material is also added there uh, to join together and there when it is allowed to solidified solidify that one two molten metal pieces join together that is called as a fusion welding in fusion welding which is also known as a non pressure welding here the pressure we are not going to apply joints of the two parts are heated to a molten state okay here the molten state up to molten state we are heating and allowed to solidify then whenever it reaches to a molten state the two pieces are brought contact with each other and later those will be get solidify then join together and examples for this fusion welding are arc welding electric arc welding this one gas welding thermit welding without pressure arc welding means by the electric arc we are going to heat the metal and gas welding by the application of the flame of the gas uh, burning we are gas combustion we are going to heat the metal pieces up to the molten state thermit welding here up to the molten state it is heated by the endothermic reaction then later the pressure is not applied that are the two types of the main types of the welding and in this one for uh, we are going to discuss about the arc welding arc welding here the arc welding means here actually electric arc is produced there is a device which is called as a welding device that is used for the joining of the metals initially the two metal pieces are like this the edges are prepared the edges edge preparation is required for the welding okay edges are prepared in this way to fill the material here to join two pieces together 
before welding this the two pieces are like this then later here the this is the electrode and it forms a one pole of circuit of the arc welding the metal piece whatever is there that will forms the another pole of the electric circuit when the electricity is supplied then this electrode whatever is there it is stuck to the metal pieces then it will there will be a arc is formed and that is kept at a 2 to 4 mm distance held at 2 to 4 mm distance away from the metal then the arc will sustains for the longer time till the completion of the electrode melting here the electrode also melts and the two metal pieces also melts that one and here we can see that one this is the mold slag what is forming on that one this is the deposited weld metal and this is the gaseous sealed in order to protect this uh, molten metal from the environment to from the oxidation whenever this is in the molten state that will be get oxidized to form a metal oxide that is the corrosion that should not happen that's why this gas seal is provided in order to avoid that one oxygen contact and this is we can see the crater the lower part of the molten metal and this is the flame is formed that one the molten fuel can see and arc length this is the arc length is well what i told in 2 to 4 mm distance there the arc is formed electric arc and this is the core of the electrode and this is the electrode and this is flux coating the flux coating whatever provide on the electrode which will forms the this gaseous seal due to this flux coating only gaseous seal will be formed and that will protect the molten metal and after this welding process whatever is there okay then here the welded part whatever is there it will be like this this is the molten metal filled between the two parts then whatever this slag is formed the slag will be removed after the cooling after cooling this slag will be removed the permanent joint will be formed one thing will come to know here that one the whatever the welded joint is there it is stronger than the base metal and that much at uh, strong joint we are going to provide between the these two metal parts and this whatever i have explained that once again here we are going to take what is in the arc welding in arc welding usually the parts are to be welded or forms as a one pole of the circuit and the electrode held by the operator forms the other pole and whenever the electricity is supplied then the whatever this uh, electrode is there stuck to the metal and there the arc will produces and that electrode is held between the 2 to 4 mm distance from the metal then there it will be arc will be sustains for a longer time thereby it will produces a concentrated heat is produced throughout the length of the arc at a temperature of about 5000 to 6000 degree celsius here we can see that the temperature at the welding part where the molten metal is produced its temperature about 5000 to 6000 degree celsius is too high to melt the metal when the arc is produced the intense heat is quickly melts the work piece metal which is directly under the arc forming a small molten metal of the electrode the electrode molt also melts and the both the metal pieces are to be joined those also mel melts that one the molten metal fuel is excited by the action of the arc and thoroughly mixing the base and the filler material both are mixes filler material as well as the the base metal which is in molten state both will be mixes together a solid joint will be formed when the molten metal cools and solidifies it will whenever it will get cools that will get solidified then joint will be formed the flux coating over the electrode produces an inert gaseous seal that i told you that one the flux coating whatever is that that on the electrode produces an inert gaseous seal surrounding the arc that protects the molten metal from oxidizing by coming contact with the atmosphere 
that i already explained that when whenever it comes contact with the atmosphere air atmospheric air air is having the oxygen whenever oxygen mixes with that metal that will get corroded so metal oxide will form that should be avoided to form this one the flux coating is used and which produces a, that inert gas that is about the arc welding thanks for watching this welding and the arc welding and subscribe uh, and also comment for any improvement and also uh, that share the my content and also i am going to continue the other types of the welding in the next session thank you